start the live and then I realized that uh, <sighs> that my phone is on low. So let me go ahead and get that together. Hello everyone, I am Zeva. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my trip to Thailand and how I'm going to prepare and get myself ready um, with the activities. And I'm going to give you guys some basic, you know, one, two, threes, ABCs about getting yourself ready and prepared for going to another country and things that you should have in line before you even, you know, get on that flight. So we're going to talk about that. Go sit. Y'all already know the routine. Y'all know how it goes. Whenever I, my coffee arrives, I'm going to have to get up and go get it. So you're going to have to excuse me when I do that. But um, there are a few things that I want to do when I go to Thailand. This is my very first time going to Thailand. I'll be in the city of Bangkok. They usually say to go to a few other places. But um, for now, I'm gonna for my first visit, I'm going to just go ahead and go to um, the... I believe Bangkok is the capital. Um... So I'll be going there the first time. That's usually what I do when I go to these different countries. I go to the, um, the biggest city first. And then usually people tell me, they're like, oh, why did you go to the biggest city? They have better places, um, smaller places, less expensive places. And their usual reason for saying that is because they think that, you know, um, the tourist areas aren't the best areas to go to. So I understand that um, to a certain extent, but this is my first time. So I'm going to get my experience next time I will go to, I believe it's called Tukat, Tuk, Tukat. Um, but even after that, I'm planning on moving on to other places. I'm still going to go to Sri Lanka, you guys. I'm probably going to go to Sri Lanka after um, I leave from India, just fly down to Sri Lanka for a while and um get some content there go to colombo finally once for all or i don't know i might wait until i heal up a little bit more to do that because i did want to go surfing and i might need to heal up for that and i'll be away from my dogs for a long time my damn dogs so i'll probably miss them and probably want to just hurry up and get back home have you been to africa not yet um africa the, my africa trips are starting this fall in the fall time, I'm going to start on um, doing my African trips, my African journey. But for now, I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get all the Asian places out of the way while I'm over here in Asia. And then I'll go on to other places. Um, when I, My surgery is in, one of my surgeries is in Turkey. And I've been looking into, you know, after healing from that surgery, flying somewhere over in Africa to get some good content and you know see some things so let me speak to everybody that has dropped in um unfortunately if you're um because it looks like people are coming in slow i'm not gonna just stop what i'm talking about to um read comments for people that come in later so let me just say hello to everybody who has come in here um mr doe is in the building um as per usual hey welcome back good to see you um miss tammy's topic says watching sis smokestacks i'll be over okay um, welcome to the TNT family show. Hello, Zay, my dear brother, and I hope you are doing well. Oh, and there's my coffee, y'all. Y'all already know the routine. Let me go get this coffee, and I'll be right back. Hello? Okay, B1, please. Thank you. I'll be right back, y'all.
go back to sit. Go back, sit down. I heard you guys when I left out of here. I heard y'all. Y'all was doing the most. Go sit. Yep. No. Go sit. Right back here. Like you were before. I'm about to fix this because you guys are I'm knocking over the cage. For real. No babies. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Go sit. Come on. Let's go. Nope. No peach. This way. Go sit. Both of you, go sit. Go sit. Go sit. Go sit. Go sit, Peach. No. Go sit. Go sit. Go sit. Go sit. Go sit. No. Go sit, Peach. No. Go sit. Go sit. Go sit. You sit. I'm not gonna tell you again, girl. Little child. I tell you like, gotta tell you like 10 times to go sit. Go sit. Go sit. Go sit. Hold on, y'all. Go sit. Go sit. Go sit. Go on. Go sit. You know what? Okay. Hold on. I got something for both of y'all. Can't blame nobody but yourself. Can't blame nobody but yourself for this one. Y'all are going back. In here. Yes, ma'am. Y'all sure are. Y'all going back on in the cage. Let's go. I got some bad dogs today, y'all. Come on, let's go. Come on. Yep. Back to the olden days. Yep, especially you. And then you following behind her, just listening to her. Good. Go sit. Now, enjoy that. Since y'all don't know how to listen anymore. I'm not playing today. At all. Y'all not about to get on my nerve today. No, ma'am. Hey, y'all. So, like I was saying, I want to book my stuff for my trip. And there are some really important necessities that you got to have. So, I want to give you guys, like, a little insight on what I do when I decide to go to a place. I need paper towels. I had to put their cage back together, y'all, because 
I don't know what my dogs are going through today, but when I say sit down, I mean that. I really mean it. And it's Peach that's giving the problem. Peach, she just doesn't listen. And now she's sitting down perfectly with the cage up. I don't know what, what she going through today, but I'm not trying to figure it out. So you guys, I have a few things that I wanna, oh, the copy is spilling on the floor. That's the one downside of ordering coffee for delivery is that it always spills, it's always messy. And y'all know me, I don't like a mess. I don't like, you know, wet stuff in my hands. I don't like sticky stuff on my hands either. But I gotta deal with it, I gotta deal with it. And I got a really small coffee this time because y'all, I'm thinking that the last time that I had that big coffee with the double espresso, uh, that, that, was, that was too much for me. I was, my eye got to twitching and everything. I'm like, mm-mm, too much caffeine. So I'm trying to reduce the amount of caffeine that I'm having. Huh, they only put a little bit of sugar in here too. What's the point in, in okay, no. One, two, okay, they're just one short. So they clearly didn't read the directions that I sent, but that's cool. Cool beans, nothing to get mad over. Let me clean up my mess, y'all, while I'm sitting here. Cannot look at that, even though this area will need to be, it clearly needs to be clean because I have dogs running around. Uh, okay, so yeah, there are some, a few activities that I really, really want to participate in. I want to show you guys, you know, a different side um, I've never seen and things I've never done. So I'm going to be booking what I found. I found something really cute. Um, it's a, a yacht, a real boat trip, you know, a yacht trip and they have a buffet um, and it's nighttime on the river. You get to see all the lights of the city and everything like that. So I thought that that was something really cute to do. You know, it's cute to take myself out to do. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I mean, it's a real, actual, full-blown boat. And it's, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna look and see exactly what different amenities the boat has. I'm not trying to be on no boat all day, neither, y'all. Like, y'all know that. I'm not trying to be on the boat all day. If that were the case, I would be... I'm not a cruise person, y'all. I'm not... Like, I know a lot of people out here, like, going on cruises and stuff, but I've never really been interested in a cruise because, I don't know, y'all. I like to be um, free to move around and free to go here and there. But I didn't even get through the comments, you guys. I will in just a second. Let me just get my coffee going, y'all. I feel like that's another reason why I'm like reducing the coffee because I feel like I'd be in such a bad mood without the coffee. Like I need to have that coffee and then that coffee just puts me into like a nice mood. It puts me in a good mood and gets me. <laughs> cause I mean, but no, these dogs were getting on my nerve cause I don't, I always get a little bit mad when they disobey. And it's funny because now that I put them in there with the cage, they're sitting down and sleeping. Why didn't you do that in the first place? Why didn't they do that in the first place? They just think that every time I go live, that means come over here, run and play on my feet. And I don't, I'm not in the mood for that. I want them to just sit down and then they could run around all they want to later but this is i need my space i need this one little space over in the corner i just want for me right now in this moment when the video is over they are free to roam and do whatever they know that they know that but I, it's really hard to stay focused when i have a dog over here growling and barking over her treats it's not Atlanta, it's Peach, you guys. <laughs> it's not Atlanta. Atlanta's not the problem, it's Peach. She makes up too much noise. But now she sleep, must be sad, I don't know. She went to bed. She must think she's in trouble. You're not in trouble, you just need to be in there because you can't listen. 
Okay, so my coffee's ready. Um, but yeah, I, I don't see the point in um, going on a trip if I'm not gonna get some decent footage and some decent content. That would be a waste of my camera. That would be a waste of my time. Like, I'm not even about to waste my camera, um, my iPhone 15 Pro Max camera, if I'm not gonna get nothing. Like, what's the point of all these beautiful cameras to not get, you know, some good, decent quality footage for you guys to see? I got another another one. Y'all, I've been ordering a couple of them. But, um, yeah, what's the point in doing that if you're not gonna actually get good footage? So I'm gonna show y'all some of the things that I'm looking at. I'm gonna actually book them today. But one important thing that I think that you should have when you're traveling, and um, yes, I am intending to throw shade. Um, this is a shady video and an information video. But um, one thing that I always say that you should do when you're making a trip is to have your travel arrangements already set in stone. Um, what I mean by that is don't wait until you get to the airport. It has been years since I've gotten to the airport and I booked an Uber or took a cab from the airport because as you guys know, I'm, I know that there are plenty of travelers amongst me. Um, the, um, I don't know if it's an airport thing or an agreement that they have with taxi drivers, but Ubers have issues getting in and out, you know, Sometimes it takes forever to get an Uber from the airport. So it's so much easier for you um, and ergonomic for you to just already have that stuff set in stone. I like, and what my preference is, is for me to arrive and for there to be a driver there waiting with a sign with my name on it. Um, funny thing is that it's, it's not even more expensive than the other way. Um, I do admit that if you really want somebody to like get you right then and there um, to have that or the taxi, are, those are the two options. Now, the taxi is going to be taxed. It's going to be way more expensive. Um, and then on top of that, you're going to have to actually go find them, go to them. Whereas the driver will be there to collect you, your baggage, etc. And then will carry you to where you're going to go to. So that I'm going to book right now because I need to. I really need to. I I don't even like to know that I'm taking off for a flight without having someone to connect with, someone to pick me up. Um, this conversation, um, this live also is going to be about, I'm going to talk to you guys about, because um, I'm glad to see that you're in here, TNT Family Show, because I want to let you know. I never did finish the conversation because I get so caught up in the things that I'm saying that I never did finish the conversation about how to um, how to how to design or how to change your YouTube channel to make it more um, attractive to the masses and how to build your channel up. I want to share that information with you. So if anybody out there is also a content creator and would like to know that information, I can give you the information from my point of view, what I did and what I noticed in the changes that I made. And I don't have a problem with sharing that with you guys because, you know, that's what we should do. We should be able to assist other people and um, with the information that we know. Because some people get threatened like, I don't want them to know my special sauce or my secret. But if you know that you have your own special formula, you don't have to necessarily teach that formula, but you can help people by giving a little um, example of what you're doing and you don't have to do a play by play, you know, help people. Each one teach one. Each one do what? Teach one. So Mr. Doe is in here, Miss Tammy. Um, I said hello to welcome TNT. Um, hey, Trinity. Trinity said, hey, Mods in chat. Hey, Zay Mods in chat. Bridget up in here. Bridget! Hey, Bridget. Mr. Doe said hello again. Love Chop says, hey, my daughter went to Thailand. Okay, cool. This will be my first time. Mm-hmm. My first time. I cannot go. Happy Ramadan to me. Oh, happy Ramadan. Have you been to Africa? That's on my list. South Af Africa is a good place to start. It's beautiful. My journey in Africa starts in Kenya. Um, Lawanda says, hey, Zay and Chaz, I love that silver star. That's so cute. Love Chaz speaks to Lawanda. Lawanda says, 
Hey Back to Love, Chops, Trinity, and Mr. Doe, and Tammy. Um, rules, Hayden on Zay rule, two bad words rule, and three being bad, they'll get you a time, 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 time out. Because bay, bay to the bay, bay. I'm lately these days, ever since I turned 36, I, I really don't want to play with nobody in the chat. Like, I be timing y'all out. I think somebody got a 13-day timeout. And then they came back, y'all. I'm not playing with, I'm not playing with them. Mm-mm. Peach is hard-headed. Oh, yes. And then I'm like, now she's doing exactly what I wanted her to do. She's laying down. But you should have just did that from the start, sweetie. Should have just did that from the start. Zay, you are the best. Thank you, Mr. Doe. Trinity, Lawanda, she spoiled. Oh, yeah. She was so mad for me to pull her by her leash. She was looking like, how dare you pull me? I'm like, yes, I pulled you because you wouldn't move. It ain't like I sat there and beat you and all that other stuff. Hey, Clara Carter. Membership badges, though. Yes, membership badges. Um, Zay, what is the star on the name? Yes, you got you to gotta get your membership, Mr. Doe. Where you been at? Because the more I'm going to start, you guys, I'm going to start doing members only videos. And I don't want nobody to feel no type of way. However, I feel like there are certain things that the members only deserve to see because I need people to start getting memberships. So maybe I need to, when I go to Thailand, maybe all the Thailand videos will be member only. You know, maybe that'll encourage people to start getting their memberships. Because I noticed that some new people have been coming in, getting memberships, and then there are people like yourself, Mr. Doe, that have not gotten their membership yet. So how the new people, the new people passing you up? They knew. So. But let's see. Why don't you make your own coffee at home, Zay? Uh, I don't know. I haven't, I, mm, I don't know. It's, it, it has been a thought that came to mind. It has, but pretty much routine. I don't know. I might, I might make get a coffee maker, something. I go look at the store and see what they have. I might. I don't know. Gang, gang got put out. Let me see what they said. Let's be messy. Oh no, baby. See, you don't get a timeout. Okay, you already. This person is already blocked. Who blocked them? See, I told y'all that the um, standard moderators can block too, but I, let me. I want to make sure. Yeah, block. Don't come back up in here. Don't, don't play with me. Sir Weed says you have no rights. No rights to what? Um, hey, royalty queen. Um, Luanda says hello to royalty queen. Bill got deleted. Oh, what did he didn't say now. Oh Lord, have mercy. People just be. I don't care at all. I mean, at all. I could tell. Mm -mm -mm. I could tell you don't care. I can definitely tell. Angel Beltran says, you're. Um, Tamanika, hey. Pogonomics says, damn, Zaddy, I'd put a leash on that collar. Um, how cute. That was, a, that was a cute one. Is there a real, is this the real Taylor Swift? Let me go ahead and put you in a timeout because you just coming in to say dumb stuff. Okay, um, my daughter is going to Senegal to visit her father. Um, oh my God, the, so the restaurant that I went to in um, Paris was actually a Senegalese restaurant. So their food was really good. Um, as you guys remember, um, uh, inmate 1783163 referred to it as um, a hole in the wall and trash and everything, but, and um, said that that was not good content. Um, I didn't care if that was good content. I wanted African food, and I was taken to the African community to eat African food, okay? They don't serve African food in the tourist area. Why don't they do that? Because, like, as you can imagine, the uh, African food is not commercialized, okay? So you're not going to find that in the area where you see, you know, where Betty, Tom, and Hank go, you know, during their vacation to Paris, Okay. You're not going to see that in those type of neighborhoods. But what a shame for someone who lives in the projects to be downing a community where the, the black Africans live. 
that what who would do that but somebody like that i i can't stand people who are not well cultured because those are the the mfers that have the most to say people who have never been nowhere all they do is talk about where they're gonna go where they're gonna do i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that that's all they do is talk y'all i'm so sick and tired of people like that in this sector ain't never been no damn where literally they're a day for them traveling for them is in a car to a store to a corner store over across the street across town that's it and then they always have so much to say and never been no damn where and even and i gotta take it a step further a cruise is not going somewhere it's better than going here and there in the states right but it's not like you traveling far going anywhere because you went on a cruise number one number two Going to the Bahamas, going to Jamaica, going to Puerto Rico, that's not real traveling to me neither. Going to Mexico, that's not that's a little summer little summer getaway. That's that type of traveling to me, in my opinion. I feel like if you have something to say about what I do and what I what I'm experiencing in my life, you should be traveling. If you haven't gotten on a 13 hour, 14 hour, 15 hour flight, me, the longest flight I've been on was 23 hours. Okay, that was from Atlanta to to India okay so if you haven't experienced that then you can't say nothing about my experience please you guys take the moment to hit that like button so I can stay in that what that YouTube aneurysm okay keep me in the YouTube aneurysm <laughs> it's the inside joke for the people and that's another thing too if you don't have a sense of humor then get the up off of my channel because you cannot sit here and take everything that I say, literally. You cannot take everything I say. Have a, I say it every day almost. Have a sense of humor. Have a sense of humor. You cannot be that much of a stick in the mud that you're sitting up here taking everything that I say like it's, act, like it's from the Quran or from the Bible. No, baby, it's from my words. It's, it's some humor in it. And you could tell by the infliction in my tone that it's a joke. You think I don't know how to say YouTube algorithm? You think I don't know the definition? It's an inside joke. And the fact that people come out of the chat and come in here to be like, it's this, it's that. It's obvious that you're not a supporter of mine and you're just coming in here to get some attention because all my people that support me, they know what I mean when I say YouTube aneurysm and they know what the joke is about. Catch up, go back and watch the old videos. Because I'm not going to come in here and explain over and over and over and over again what I mean by stuff to people that are coming here fly by, in and out, in and out. I'm not going to do that. And I'm not going to defend myself against people that don't know what I'm experiencing. For what? I don't know nothing about living in the trailer parks. I don't know nothing about living in the projects and the ghettos and all of that stuff. Because, um... Even in my hood now, because I heard some people talk about my hood, Decatur, Georgia. Even in my hood, because I heard y'all don't don't pay attention to what that raisin said. Listen to the source, you guys. For the people out there that have all these opinions about me, I don't really give a damn. But for your sake, I will say this. Don't listen to that lady. That lady only knew me when I was already overseas. She don't know nothing about me being in Atlanta, Georgia, okay? Because she did not know me then. Nobody on YouTube has ever been able to come forward, say that they know my first, middle, and last name, where I live, where I went to school. For the longest time, they were saying that I was born and raised in Atlanta, and that's not even true. So as you can see, these people come out here thinking that they know something about my life, and they don't. So how long will you listen to somebody just spew out lies? People have gotten out here saying that they were going to prove that I had some type of child molestation charge. False. Never happened. People said that I was out here on the run. False. Never happened. People said that I was deported out of India. False. You're going to see that I'm not deported because I have surgery there. Like, people are just so stupid and so, they hating so bad on my, on the little things that I'm doing. And I consider it little. But apparently it must be so big to somebody so small-minded, small life, not having anything going on, sweetie. I would never trade places with you. And to be honest with you, some of the people in the past that I've argued with, 
um, it's no longer worth it. It never was worth it. And I realize that now, especially now, because look at where we stand. Okay, my channel is th growing, my channel is thriving, and theirs are not. Okay, you got another one that is currently in prison. She was yap, yap, yapping so much about her case that she ended up not having 12 months, but ended up having 48. And I bet you if she could still go live, she would still be bragging. She would still be talking stuff to me saying how her life is so much better than mine behind prison walls. This lady literally sat in the projects telling me that me traveling here and there, even to Paris, she had something bad to say about that. Our ancestors probably was turning and tossing in their tombs and in their graves because to see an elder come out here and try to discredit something that somebody's doing, everybody, and and. And everybody who has come for me has been older than me. So when people come out here saying that stuff about your elders, your elders, my elders was messing with me. My elders, the elders were messing with me. I didn't come out. I don't have no reason to just come for no old ladies. For what? I'm not heterosexual, okay? I'm not interested at all. Why would I want to bother, befriend, run behind a woman? No, I'm going to run behind a man. Make it make sense. See, that's the thing. Like, it's the lies for me. And I was telling Day Day the other day that I'm so sick and tired of, like, it's the lies for me. Because that's some, some people out here, their only content is lies. You can't ever hear them talk about nothing else but a lie. That's it. That's all. And the lie usually consists of them downing somebody else's experiences, somebody else's life with a lie. A lie that can be easily proven wrong. And they have people that actually follow behind them. Okay, it might be two or three people. But still, those people are that... You can tell that they're haters of whoever is being talked about. And then you have to ask yourself, now why do you hate that person so much? For real, for real. Because what the hell did I do to them? I don't even know you. There are people out here just hating on me just because they just don't like me. It wasn't good enough to say, well, you look ugly. You this and that. You don't have no money. You don't have this. You don't have that. That didn't work. So then they turn around and start trying to play with criminal histories. And they trying to play with family dynamics and stuff like that. Try to critique the way that you travel and the way that you do things. And then they, they sit here like this. Black screen. Make that make sense. Make that make sense. I don't see how anybody could be trying to down somebody else living a life that they have never experienced before. And they're older. Get your life. You know, you do something, do something different. Do something that makes a change. I, I was thinking about it today when I went downstairs to go get my coffee. I was saying to myself, wow, like when I wake up some, like this morning was an interesting morning when I woke up. I was waking up and for some reason my brain was telling me that when I opened my eyes, I was going to be seeing my bedroom in Atlanta. I was going to see my picture up on the wall because y'all know I have, have that big, huge picture of myself that's normally on the wall. I like to wake up and see myself and say, good morning, gorgeous. So I was I was picturing it and I was like, I'm, I'm in the Philippines. And for a moment, I was like, oh, I'm in the Philippines. But then I realized like I'm in the Philippines. I could have been that person that just talked about it, talked about it, talked, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. I'm, I could have been just like them pohos. Yeah, I'm calling them that. I could have been just like them, just talking about what I could do and how I'm, a, I'm, my, I'm, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and never do nothing. I took a leap of faith when I decided to just get up and pack my bags, pack your bags, so you ain't gotta sneak and creep. I'ma let you keep running the streets. I ain't about to have you stressing me. No, no, you see how good she gonna love you. But yeah, I packed my bags and I just left. I haven't been back. And the funny thing about it is that I don't have to ever go back. That's amazing to me. If she gets to think that prison is amazing, 
if people think that sitting on the floor in front of the couch on a Chromebook talking stuff about people is amazing, then I damn for sure get to think that my life is amazing. If you think that you can, if you think all that stuff is amazing, then I can think my life is, is damn amazing, okay? I just can't believe, and that, that's the thing that always gets me is like, what the hell is you talking about that my life is um, in shambles and all this other stuff? What you doing? What's your status at the bank? What's going on with you? That's always my question. Because you got to show me. Show me something. So, boat. Boat ride Bangkok. So, I was looking. I, I don't want to take no little, you know, we not going fishing. I want a little mini cruise. So, this is the one I was looking at, y'all. Oh, it's fabulous. Especially at night. It looks beautiful. Um, Let me just show you. So, this is the boat. It's really cheap. Um, it's about, what, $30 for an hour? Hour and a half. I think it's an hour and 36 minutes. Um, there's a full service restaurant. I believe it's a buffet. That's a little sample of the food. I really want to try that. Um, is it what is it called uh red tail red tail something no tiger shrimp i really wanted to try the tiger shrimp look y'all see that city view in the back i'm gonna make sure to bring my my equipment because i or i might even go a step further um and get a photographer to just come along with me and take my picture um but this is just to see my see the night you know um, that's the, like the view of the city and everything. You're going to see everything that night. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. I'm going to book this. Is this the same one? Yes, yeah, the same one. Wait a minute. Hold on. They have princess and then they have the white orchid. The white orchid is cheaper, but look at how big it is. I'm not going for for cheap. I'm not going for the cheap. Not this. Not this trip. Mm mm. Cause we back in Asia, y'all. Y'all know that that the thing about it, y'all, that people may not know is that I like Asia because Asia is like everything. The prices that I pay for stuff in Asia are the is the price that I look at something. And I'm like that should be worth this amount, and it usually is. Um, in the States, everything is just so high priced. Everything is so much more expensive. And a lot of people sit there and they're just like, um, you, you too poor to live in the U S it's not even about that. Uh, because obviously your pole broke down, non, non nothing happened. Self is living there. Right. <laughs> and when I was in the States, I was living way better than a lot of the people that be talking. They can't even go show their house. Like that's the I wish I I wish I did have I was on Bego when I was in Atlanta, okay? I didn't know about YouTube and all of that. Wish I did. Because I would have loved to have showed you guys my house. You would never have been able to say nothing about my house, period. Okay? Fully furnished. Nice nice home. Beautiful home. Decorated in every room. Okay? everything paid for everything that was in my home everything that's in my storage i bought the i bought when i moved in okay when i moved in boxes were just coming in day by day day by day boxes were just coming in so it's like it wasn't nothing and then that's another thing let me talk about that too i want to address stuff y'all excuse me for wanting to address stuff in this video but it just got to come out um, I have never come on here to brag about anything. 
I've never come out here to brag. Not once. And people come out here and say that all I do is brag. I don't have to brag, sweetie. Everything that I'm talking about, there's a receipt. There's It's for show. Like, I don't like somebody said that I, I brag about surgeries and stuff like that. I ain't never brag. Now, I can admire. I can um, say that I, I'm proud of. I'm happy with the work that my doctor did. I can say all of that. But if I complain, that's no problem, right? That's not bragging, though. But for me to give praises to my doctors, praises to myself for the hard work that I put in, because, see, y'all, you weren't there when I was in the gym every day with my trainer, Jeremy, in Midtown Atlanta. You weren't there at PT treatment. You weren't there. I remember Tiny was there. T.I. was there. King was there. <laughs> I remember I saw them there. I saw Bow Wow there. Um, I saw uh, Akbar. She was there. Um, I saw regular. I saw Xavier. He's another trainer that's there. Jeremy, of course, was there. I saw a lot of people there, but I don't remember seeing you when I was there doing all the workouts that I was doing. I don't remember seeing you when I was paying eight hundred dollars a month for jeremy's services i don't remember seeing i don't remember nobody paying for that i don't remember nobody being there so how would you know what i'm bragging about damn right i'm gonna brag about all them times i did them deadlifts all them times i did those squats all those times i did forward and backwards lunges i'm sure as hell gonna brag the hell but what I'm not going to brag is about a Versace robe. I'm going to get another one. I want the mint green one, y'all. It just came out. I really want that. Um, and it's cheaper in the Philippines, you know, because of the conversion rate. But uh, that's nothing to brag about. It's material, okay? Just as quickly as you get it, you can lose it. Just as quickly as you gain it, you can lose it. Just like that. Material things are material things. You can have a fire. You can lose your possessions. You could be robbed. I'm still right now. I ain't replaced my coach bag yet. I haven't replaced. And that's another thing. How am I bragging when I still, I still, I don't, I'm not rich. I still shop with coach. I still buy, I, I'll buy something from Walmart if I want to. Like, so how am I bragging? It's not about designer labels. Yes, I love designer labels, but that's just a coincidence, okay? I'm not a label whore. But at the same time, if I want it, I'm going to get it. That's the benefit of not having children, okay? That's a benefit that I possess. I don't have kids. I would not be shopping and doing the things that I do. I, I ain't worried. Uh, hold on. Let me just flip up the screen, y'all. It's getting to the point where all these boxes of shoes don't have no home, never been worn. All these clothes and stuff tucked up up there, never been worn because I just want a collection. I want a shoe collection. Before I even touch them, I just want to have, you know, hundreds of pairs before I even put them on. That's the benefit, in my opinion, of not having children, okay? If I had kids, I wouldn't be spending my money like that. I wouldn't do that. If I had kids, but being that I don't, oh, they throw the shade. Oh, you go make a baby. I don't want, I don't want to make a baby right now. Like there are so many things I want in life. There's so many things that I want to accomplish. By the time I get back home, um, my goal, and I said it a million times before, but for the new people, my goal is to buy my house. I want to have money saved for renovating my house. I'm not renovating, but I want two things in my home. My home can be, I'll leave it the way that it was, right, when I walked in. But two things got to be modified. The bathroom, the master bathroom, um, and my, I need a walk-in closet. I want my, I, I know I will never be able to afford to have a Nene Leaks and a Porsche and all that, right? I'm not expecting to. I would never spend that amount that they spent, but I want the closest thing that I can get that I can afford to house all of my clothing, okay? I want a beautiful walk-in closet. That's it. 
It doesn't have to be like Kylie Jenner's. It doesn't have to be like Kim Kardashian's. But I want one, okay? And I want it to be spacious and I want it to be full. I want to bring all my clothes that I have acquired over here. And I want to put them all up in there. Period. I'm not coming back until I... When I send my stuff home to the U.S., okay? I'm sending... Uh, what do they call it, you guys? I'm sending crates. Is that what it's called? Crates? The huge things that they deliver by sea? Um, what was that movie where the girl got stuck in one? Yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. That movie where they got the girl got stuck on Netflix. She got stuck in one. But one of those, you know, 10 things. So I better have it full. I'm getting my custom furniture because there's a place in um, Vietnam that does really affordable custom wood, cherry wood furniture, okay, for a very low price. So all the people that are talking, da -da 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 -da, they're not going to be saying nothing when I pull up and I'm back in the States and I have exactly what I wanted and what I planned for. Oh, that ain't going to happen. That ain't going to happen. But look at everything else. I said I was getting my teeth done. They're done. I said I was going to India for six months. I went. I said I was going to Vietnam. I did. I said I was coming here to the Philippines. I did that. I said I was going to Paris. I did that. I said I was getting my body done again. It's coming. Like every single thing that I plan to do that I don't change my mind on, because sometimes I change my mind. But everything that I plan on doing, I get it done. I go do it. I'm never going to let nobody stop or discourage me because they're hating on that. Maybe they couldn't do it. But do, where, did, where did all this come from? Huh? Zay, why did you just decide to do this? Did you just one day just twiddle your thumbs together and just decided? No, this was a plan, sweetie. A plan. The same plan that inmate 1783163 was sitting there trying to make fun of. The same print. I, or did, I, did I say it right, y'all? Hold on, let me make sure I got it correct. Because I've been, I, I had to go back and correct it because I was like, I'm saying it the wrong way. Inmate 1783163, yep. Inmate 1783163 was trying to sit there and say that I, I was so dumb for going over to a country where the cost of living is so cheap that I am able to save up money to do all the things that I just said I'm going to do. First of all, it's expensive to send those carts back to the U.S. I want to say that it's like $9,000. I think that's the quote that I got. And I said, well, if I'm paying $9,000, baby, I want that thing to be filled to the max with everything that you could ever want for a, for a home. Okay. So I'm going to do that. It's going to happen. That's my goal. To me, that right there is even more important than my goal and my aspiration of wanting to become a father. Um, I want that to happen first. So for anybody who I want to see, I can't wait to see the people's faces or what they got to say when I'm back and I'm doing, doing well and I'm doing exactly what I said I was going to do. I would love to see anybody discredit me then. So, yeah. Sorry about that rambling, you guys. I just had to get that off my chest. Like, I'm so sick and tired of people just trying to discourage me. It is ob obvious that it's out of jealousy. Because I'm doing something different that, than what they would do. Say, I have to go now. I have to take a call. It's very important. Oh, no. So, I'm going to miss on telling you again. Hey, Carly. Preach, boo, King Cozart says. Hey, King Cozart. Sorry if I missed anybody. Hey, CC's Castle. Hey. Speak the Truth 24. Hey. Um, I put some people in timeouts. I sure did. I'm not even playing. I'm not playing with stuff that you say. I'm not playing with your screen names. I'm not doing anything like that. Um, and as far as that person that came here with the name, your fatherless, and you know it, um... If you were trying to refer that to me or for anybody, for that matter, you sound stupid. You can't make a child without a father. Anyway, moving on. Let's see. Lynette. Hey, Lynette. CB. Hey. It's what you experience. It's not bragging. Exactly. 
And and the main thing that somebody said, CB, was that I bragged about having a Versace robe. No, I didn't. I showed the receipt because somebody said that I paid credit for it. I didn't. I never bragged. I don't think bragged. I don't. My Versace robe that didn't even cost as much as the red bottoms that I own. That doesn't cost as much as the um, Alexander McQueen boots that I love so much. Doesn't cost as much as nearly half of the other designer things. That ain't the only designer thing that I have. have. That's not the only thing I ever bought from Versace. But you think you know me because of YouTube. An hour or two videos that I put out, you just think that you just know my life. And you don't. And you don't even know my videos that well. They can't even quote back the videos correctly. These people is full of ish, period. I can't with most of them too much. Exactly, Auntie Nessa. Exactly. Chris got put up out of here. He's actually on block. Always me. Yes, yes. Amen, Zay. Vanessa D. Lynette said. Always me says, damn right, you can afford. Right, it's what I can afford. What I can afford. I'm never going to be. If I was trying to perpetrate, baby, I would be. I could be broke. You know how I would be broke for all the people that keep on saying that he's broke, he's this. I'm like, what? Like, where you get that from? I'm like, everything around me costs money because I don't buy stuff. I'm not, I've never been the person, right, to sit here and um, brag about what I have. However, when I shop, I shop for things that will last long, right? So if I was broke, what the hell am I doing with a MacBook Pro? If I was broke, why do I have an iPhone 14 right here as an extra phone? This iPhone 14 Pro Max and then this iPhone 15 Pro Max. Why do I have these cameras over here? If I was broke, if I was struggling to eat and everything, why would I buy stuff like this? Why would I why would I do any of that? Why would I I bought those Balenciaga boots, y'all. I sure did. I bought them. They are um they haven't shipped yet. But I bought them because I really want, I hope that they come by the time I go to Thailand. But if they don't, you will they'll go to another trip, period. You know, it's no big deal. Um, but yeah, like stuff like that is not a big deal to me. But if I was broke, I, I don't imagine that I would be able to do those things. I wouldn't be taking trips. So my thing is, I'd be wondering like, what are these people, like what meds are they on? And they need to take because what... It doesn't add up. When have I ever been broke and struggling and coming on here telling y'all like, oh, I'm stuck in the airport. And like, because I know that there are some content creators. There's some gay boys out there. Um, Shamar being one of them. And I, I met him before. Um, I saw him going. I can't say what location I was going to, but I was going to a place and he was also going in too. And he was asking me if I had the code to get in. But um, anyway, People like him that be at the airports and stuff asking their subscribers and supporters for cash apps to get home and, and stuff like that. Y'all ain't never seen me do that. So I would say that people like that are broke. You ain't seen me do no shit like that. So what you mean? I don't like it doesn't make any sense. I have too many resources. But if I ever found my bank account on zero, I got too many resources. This MacBook will be gone. These phones will be gone. You know, stuff like that. If I was really broke and struggling on life and just like, I don't know what I'm going to what I was going to do. You know, I would be, you know, there would be no electronics. It would be, you know, my bill. I wouldn't be on here because my bill wouldn't be paid. I would be like, uh, I ain't paying my Internet, you know, stuff like that. So I just, I feel like those people who say those things, you got to be saying it just um, to make yourself feel better. Is that what it is? Like, does it make, I said that before, that I have to be a crackhead, a pedophile, a uh, um, HIV prostitute, all of this stuff for them to bring me down to be underneath them. So how low are you? Good question. But um, let me read, always, you damn right, you can afford damn right. Thank you, Angel. I was like, where Mari Hermes? Yeah, like stuff like that. Now, see, look, I don't have no Hermes. That's like a different level. See, why would I ever wear stuff like that, in my opinion? Because that's like a businessman. I'm not a businessman. I don't even have the businessman look. I have locks. I mean, I'm sure that there are some nice guys, businessmen with their locks tucked up and everything, but I don't work on Wall Street, okay? 
So you will never see me with, you know, Armani and all of that stuff. I don't work on Wall Street. I, I stay in my lane, right? That's just the way I see life. But I do like me a nice pair of stud boots from Alexander McQueen. I do. I can't wait to get them. I cannot wait to get those. Let's see. Always me. That's right, baby. Absolutely. Lynette said, hey to Mel. Hey, Mel, Vonnie Bell. Hey, sis. Um, you have plenty of time to have children later. Yeah, I want to. And then I won't have to worry about um, buying clothes and stuff like that. I'll just be taking care of my baby. And I'll get myself something here every now and then, you know. But that's if I ever do, you guys. I'm starting to get more and more accepting of the fact that I may not ever. You know, I might just always want to live this life that I'm living because I love it. That's the reason why I don't have kids because I'm like, I like it the way it is now. Even my dogs, they put a little a little wrench in my plans sometimes. And I'm like, you know what, well, was this a good idea? But at the end of the day, now they're here and I love them and I'm not letting them go. Hey, Lynette, pray you're feeling better. Yes, Lynette, prayer hands for Lynette, please. Y'all put some prayer hands in the chat and some flowers in the chat for Lynette, please. And hope that she gets a speedy recovery. I did not know that you were going through what you went through. But, um... Now that I know, I'm I'm so glad that you are here and that you are, and it's a blessing that you are able to even be here. Like I said before, when my father had his first stroke, he lost his um his all of his abilities, and here, 20 years later, well, 18 years later, but nearly 20 years later, he still has not gained his ability to talk. He can't type. He can't walk. He can't do anything. So um. It's a blessing. Shipping containers is what they're called, brother. Thank you. Yes, shipping containers. But they call them something else. There's another word when I got my quote. Okay, shipping containers. Yes, 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 Italian king. Thank you, Italian king. I've been in logistics for many years, so that's a fact, bro. Okay, okay. Melody Shorts Music says, Hello, guys from the Philippines. Oh, yes. I'm so glad I'm reaching people from the Philippines because that's where I'm at. So I'm going to be doing some more Philippine content like I've been... Like I did in Thailand, like I'm, I said, did in Thailand, doing in Thailand, I'm learning something. I'm learning a little method of what to do. So what I'm going to do, and that's another thing that this video is about. I learned from going to Paris that there are three things I need to do. I need to do a history trip, history content to show you guys some history, a food content to show you guys some food. And then what's the third one? Shopping. Just like I did in Paris. I did shopping, I did food, and I did some history. So I'm going to make sure to do the same thing in Thailand and every other place I go. So that's something that you guys can look forward to. I will always bring, take you somewhere to learn about some history, food, and um, some shopping. And hopefully some good shopping. Like it should, uh, This is Asia, so... I can't wait to go see what they have. Um, I'm not going to a thrift store. That thrift store situation in Paris, I did not like what I saw. Mm -mm. It would have been so fun. Like for the ladies, when you go to Paris, go to the thrift stores. They have some beautiful stuff for the ladies. For the ladies, not for the men. The men, I'm like, why would I want this grandpa stuff? Like this look like old um, country western type of, no, I'm, mm -mm. no, I'm good. And then the smell, I just, I couldn't get past the smell. It's been a long time since I shopped at a thrift store. So I was like, when the smell hit me, I was like, oh no, I got to go. Mm -hmm. God got you, Zay. No need to explain it all. Right, exactly, auntie. Cece, I would like to talk to you about your Philippines experience. I'm gathering as much info as I can. Okay, what you, um, you're wanting to go to the Philippines, Cece? Um, Mel Vonnie Bell speaks to CB. You got to live for you, not anyone else, bro. That's, that's facts. That's facts. Let me pin you. That's facts. Whip, I'm actually dying to know, please. Dying to know what? Y'all, sometimes I forget what I'm saying. <laughs> but dying to know what? Upgraded Titan Cinema Man says, hey, 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 LaCola. Mr. Rainbow loves coffee. Hey, Mr. Rainbow, did you watch that video that I sent you the link to? Y'all, I sent him the link of the video now that he's a member. I sent him a link to a video that I put on members only. Um, but it's that video where um, inmate 1783163 sat on her couch, on her Goodwill pissy couch, and she talked for hours disrespecting me, and I cut it down to like 
what a minute or two but she really sat there for four hours talking about me non-stop like non-stop she was very angry that day um she was angry because i i terminated her youtube channel because she had kept using my videos playing my videos and then she would react play my video react and that is against the copyright infringement rules on um, the guidelines um for youtube so i reported her as i should and then another time she requested for me to report her and i did and my thing was, if you didn't want me to report you, why did you say to report you? Like, you got to make it make sense. Okay, let's see. What LaWanda said. Please be respectful in the chat or you will be blocked. You sure will. Why did you take my mod away? I don't remember you having a mod, Titan Cinema Man. I don't remember you having one. Okay, um, Angela Carter, hey, um, uh, say an anime and I will draw. You will draw the, the anime characters? You, you can do them. Uh, let's see. Zay, you're just classy and you know it like your auntie, period, period. And at the same time, like that classy, elegant stuff, I'm still down to earth because I'm at the end of the day, I'm American, okay? And I, not only am I American, but I'm an American Southerner, okay? It's, it hits a little bit different, okay? We are not, I'm not no um, high sedity. Like, I, like when I was going to that restaurant, I was really like, I've never been to a restaurant like this. And you know what? I honestly really don't have any interest. What do I want to go pay $150 for a plate of food that will probably be disgusting. <laughs> like, no, I wanna, I'm down to earth. I wanna go somewhere with my hot sauce in my bag and that's just it. I don't feel the need to spend my money to prove a point. Like, especially when it comes to what I'm putting in my mouth. Uh-uh, uh-uh, I'm not gonna, mm, nah, I'm, I'm good on that. Let's see, Italian King and growing in life and success. Yes, Italian King, I'm liking, it. Italian King gonna get a, um his mod put on him. Charlotte. Oh my God, that air freshener smells so good. I love it. Every time it goes, it smells so good. And my dogs are being quiet. They ain't made a sound, y'all. I'm so happy with them right now. I'm, they gonna get loose as soon as, I, as soon as I'm done. Um, yes, yeah, she's incredibly disturbing. Let me pin you. And, and, and could you imagine I shortened that video to two minutes? That video was four hours long. She said way more than what you saw. Way more. I don't know how many type, how many HIV. And then on top of that, not only did she do that video for four hours, but she made several other videos after that, repeating the same stuff over and over again. The most recent video she made saying that stuff was like, um, a few days before she went to prison so she she has she doesn't learn and the thing is that if it's meant to hurt me i wish that she could see maybe now that she's in prison maybe i can get away with doing it but um i wish that you guys could see a full reaction video of me listening to her disrespect me i sit there and i laugh so hard because it's always so funny to watch how raging mad she would get. And I'm like, I'm over here calm. I don't even get bothered or affected by the stuff that she says. She talks about my brother. She talks about my mom, my deceased grandmother. And I don't ever get bothered. I'm just like, I, she doesn't know those people. And they don't know her. And, and it's funny because my brother, even she talks about him. He supported her channel. He was helping her out. And he was one of her subscribers. And what did I tell him? No, you can't be... I can't tell him what to watch and what not to watch. You know, he's 17 years old. He can watch whatever. He thinks she's funny. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm not I'm not that bothered by her or anybody else. I like Paris, but not the food. That's why I didn't eat that food, CC. I went to where I wanted to go, and I was um, crutinized. 
I was scrutinized for not going to a five-star restaurant, but I'm like, why go to pay for some food that I really don't want to eat? Let me, and that has nothing to do with my appetite for the most part, because, oh, well, no, not the appetite, but the, uh, it doesn't have anything to do with the money. But let's be realistic, you guys. I had 80% of my stomach removed, okay? Um, I had gastric sleep. I'm not about to pay $150 for food that I can't even eat, okay? I can't even eat it all. I'm not about to pay for all of that. And then on top of that, it's not food I really want to eat. I'm very picky about what I eat because I can only eat but so much. So why would I sit there and waste my time getting food that is too expensive? All for show to make people on YouTube think that, oh, I got money and I'm just doing this. I don't, I don't, that's not the way I operate. Men, right? You can be classy and Southern. That's so right. Woody then got put up out of here. People just come in here weird. Hey, Kaden, what's up? So, yeah, that's that's one thing I want to do. I'm, I'm going to book one of these boats. I'm going to look. What I need to do is I'm going to look into each one of them because I'm seeing that there are several other ones. There are a lot of them. But I want to take y'all on a real boat ride. I don't. It's not going to be no rinky-dink, you know. I want to take y'all on a real boat ride. And I'm hoping that the Wi-Fi, you know what? I'll look into that to make sure that the boat has Wi-Fi. I want to make sure that I get on a boat that has Wi-Fi. And then there's the floating market, you guys. That's where I'm going to do the shopping video. The floating market, I'll do that. I'll book that too. Um, oh, this is really a dinner cruise. This one looks, the more, it seems like the more expensive ones are the ones that just are catching my eye. But they ain't rated that high. This one is the most expensive I've seen so far. That is so pretty to me. I just cannot wait to get a, it's so funny because other people get excited about, oh, I can't wait to be there. I can't wait to try the food. I can't wait to take a picture. And then you can see the background. And I just can't wait for pictures, you guys. <laughs> That's what I'm excited about. I want to take photo shoots in every country that I ever go to. I just want to build my um, modeling portfolio, photo shoot by photo shoot, country by country, and just build it up, build it up, build it up. And wear all these outfits that's the perfect use of an outfit to me is when you're going to do a nice photo shoot it's timeless because i'm getting older you guys i'm gonna look back on these um photos and when i'm like 80 years old god god um i said god forbid no god willing uh when i'm 80 and i'm gonna be like wow when i was young i was traveling the world i was going places i looked so great i just i'm gonna be Wow, like when I'm 80, gosh, I don't, that's gonna be something else to be looking back at, at photos like this and remembering these moments, watching my old videos, hearing me say these different things. Hmm. Will I still be on YouTube in my 80s? I hope. <laughs> I hope that I'm still here making videos. <laughs> I will still come live, old and all. Mm -hmm. I sure will. Be sitting in my um in my house in Atlanta, the same old house. Oh, um, my peach in my Atlanta probably won't be there. I hope they do. I hope they just like. I hope Peach is just walking and she just oh she's shaking and moving. We both just oh, I would love that. Oh, but my babies. Did y'all see the picture of my babies? Like child, hold on. That picture was so cute. I had to catch Peach because she don't ever open up her mouth like that. But Peach was looking so cute. And Atlanta, of course. They were just looking so happy. On their way to from getting their vaccines. They look so happy. My babies, they look so happy. They was happy to get up out of that bed. They hate going to the bed. They hate going to the bed, hate getting baths, hate getting their nails clipped. They are very spoiled dogs. And I, and you know what? 
when they fight me, I just don't make them do it. I'm just like, I'm not going to make you take a bath and I'm not about to force them to do stuff. But um, I did. I said, I'm not going to force you, but I'll take you to the groomer and then they can force you to take a bath. <laughs> I'm not going to do it, but I'll take you to the professional. So I don't know. One day it's going to make me think like, because I'm, that's the probably the type of parent I would be. I'm not going to torture my child and make them do but you do have to take a bath you got to wash your ice and you got to brush your teeth and you know you got to be clean you have to be clean you got to clean up like and there's no option with that there sure isn't mm. okay let's see oh that's so stinking cute yes they so cute who watches your fur babies when you travel my sister usually but i'm only because they need some shots and they've started um, the shots, but they're not complete yet. It's going to take a couple of months for them to get all of their shots where they can travel with me or they can stay behind in the doggy daycare because the doggy daycare doesn't accept dogs. Um, and I was going to this one doggy daycare and I read the reviews and it said my dog came back so dirty. And I was like, oh, first of all, my dogs are scared of bigger dogs. So I don't want my dogs around no other dogs. I want them in their own area, so more than likely they're gonna just come with me. <laughs> I'm not even finna go through all of that. Like they're just gonna come with me because they don't like other dogs. Like you should see the way they look when they go to the vet. They'd be like looking at them big dogs, and I was like, I don't like big dogs either, Peach in Atlanta. I don't like them either, so I understand you. I don't like big dogs at all. Big dogs, mm, I don't. I just don't care for them. So let's see. Um, let me type in Bangkok. So the floating tour is something I want to do. The floating tour actually comes with lunch and everything. But I'm wondering, because I keep seeing these um, fireworks. Are they doing fireworks every night or something? Like, how do you get to see the fireworks? Oh, a Thai massage. I've now I've had Thai massages, but I've never had a Thai massage in Thailand. So maybe that's something that I should do. Hmm. They got a spa package. Now that sounds nice. That's not something I was intending on doing, but I haven't had a massage in a while. I could go for that today. I could really go for a massage today. The last time that I got a massage, um, my back was so sore because that, that I had a stud. I had a stud um, give me my massage and she was all up in the cracks and the crevices. Um, she had my back hurt. Oh, this is a really nice ship, y'all. Look at this ship. That's nice. Let me screenshot that. Okay, so, oh, they got a safari? Now, I don't think I would be able to go live for a safari, y'all. I don't think my internet would be good enough, but I could try. I don't think I'll be able to film. I might have to film that, but a safari, that would be really nice. It's on a bus too? Oh, the tigers? I mean, not the tigers, the lions? Ooh. Feeding? Hold on, let me see. No, we not gonna feed nothing. No, I'm good on feeding. Okay. But it's all on the bus? Don't have to get out at all? That's something that I'm interested in. That sounds good to me. What y'all think about a safari? Hmm, let me see. What other activities? Spa, spa, spa. No, I already seen enough of the spa. It's these ships for me. They just look so beautiful. Spa, spa, spa. What else? Oh, yeah, I need to make sure I put English available. English available. I don't, I'm tired of seeing spas. Okay, so that's a big thing in Thailand, spa. 
Oh, do they have elephant rides? Hold on, hold up. Elephant Bangkok. Elephant ride. No, they don't. Hold on, let me type it in on Google. They actually do. They have it. I'm s elephant ride. First of all, it's gonna be really hot. So this what we gonna ride on? No, ma'am. That ain't gonna work for Zay. Y'all know me. I do not like being out in the hot sun <laughs> at all. Mm mm. We gonna ride in that? Uh, I'm, I'm, uh. Okay, so it includes um, a death railway museum. You get to go visit the elephants. You don't get to get on top of no elephant. Mm -mm. I'm gonna skip over that. They have an elephant sanctuary that you can visit though. I gotta go see the temples. Y'all, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be busy. Floating market day trip. Okay, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I don't want to book too much stuff, y'all. So the floating market, uh, the floating market, the the food tour, the uh, the temple, and the boat. Four, four activities. And call it a day. So I'm not even going to get a chance to see every temple. But as long as I see some, Wait a minute. Now they got boxing. Thai boxing tickets. Do I want to go see some people get all kicked around and moved around? And hmm. I don't know. They got some. There's some, there's some th stuff to see. Hmm. Oh, there go my dogs. Hey, Peach. Hey, girl. You still upset? Huh? Ready to get out? <laughs> hey, girl. Okay, so let me read some of your comments. You wouldn't, you wouldn't like my fur babies then. I have three huge Dobermans. Dobermans? Baby, oh no. I don't like big dogs to look at me, come near me, be by me. I, mm -mm, I'm a little dog person at all. Um, and there was once upon a time where I wasn't messing with little dogs. So um, when Yolanda be saying that she doesn't uh, doesn't do animals, baby, trust and believe. I, I'm, that, I'm that way too. I only do my own animals. Like when it comes to cats, I don't really like other people's cats. I don't like stray cats either. Like stray cats be now y'all saw I was so friendly with Rocky. I was so friendly with Rocky. Um and that was the first. That was like I don't usually mess with dogs and all of that. Um stray animals. But they love me though. Like there's a cat out there. She comes up and she just comes, she try to do a little rub and I'm just like, girl, you need a bath. Uh uh. Like, mm, -mm you need a bath, baby. But I should have let I should have gave her a little rub. Um, we should not be afraid of animals. Animals, one time and one, uh, a place in time, we used to be very close and in tune with animals. So we shouldn't be afraid of animals. Animals um, contribute heavily, heavily to our ecosystem. So animals are very important. Animals deserve to be protected. Let's see. I dislike boxing. You do? Had a huge dog bite on my hand one time and it almost took the skin off my finger. Now I'm a small dog person, 100%. Oh, you, your own dog bit you? Oh, wow, last plus first. Wow. I feel you on that. And then people always have those big beastie pit bulls and they're like, no, she's friendly, she's friendly. My, my eyes. Hmm. She could be friendly as she wanna be over there. I wouldn't come in my, my friend's house unless her dog was put up. I'm not coming in, no. You're, and and she was, like, I played with the dog. 
I sure did. I played with her. And still, after I was done playing with her, I'm like, okay, you can you know, put her up. Like, uh-uh, I'm not, mm-mm. So I wasn't totally scared of her. I just didn't want to even take a chance. Ronald Duffney says, hi, hi, Ronald. Name a car for an edit, okay. Is that Beavis and Butt Butthead as Axel and Slash? It sure is. I'm glad you recognize. You better hurry up and know, Mr. Hugo. Little dogs are sassy. Um, Peach definitely is. She definitely is. Let me put your stick on you. Because I know that you've been coming in regularly. Is there anybody else that's been coming in regularly that needs their stick added on to them that I haven't noticed? Um, let me scroll up. Because I know there are some people. I think somebody came in trying to be slick, y'all. Talking about some, why did you take my moderator stick? I don't remember you having one. You're going to have to refresh my memory. I don't remember you having one. Marco says, hello. Hey, Marco. Um, okay, I read Caden's comment. My dog doesn't do the daycare. She has separation anxiety. It's our fault, though. She's eight, and she's been by our side since she was six weeks. Um, I don't know if how they will react. I really don't know. I don't know how they will react. It'll be the first time, but I I don't know. I have I don't like to be separated from them neither. You know, I understand. I don't really want to be separated from my dogs, but I have no choice but to like especially when I go to have my surgery in India, I'm going to be gone away from them for for a week, for a whole month. A whole month I'm going to be away from them, but they'll be with my sister, so I still won't have to put them into the doggy daycare yet. But I can't sit down for a flight. That flight will be coming back home from India. The flight is 13 hours because there's like a layover and whatnot. There's no direct flight from... Wait a minute. I kind of remember. Oh, no. I flew from um, from um, from India to Vietnam directly. And then I flew from Vietnam to manila directly too but from india directly to here in the philippines there is no flight so i have to do what i have to do and i'm gonna have a bbl done again so i'm not gonna be able to sit down for really you're not supposed to sit down like that for six weeks but i'm going to allow myself to go at like four weeks because many people do that all the time they go ahead and they sit down like they fly out five days later but I'm not going to be that cheap and because they don't want to pay for accommodations and stuff like that. I'm going to sit in India for a whole month. Whew. Just thinking about it. I'm just trying to remember what it was like. Because it wasn't that long ago that I was in India, you guys. So one thing I do remember in India is that I cannot access stuff like Disney+. Plus. The Netflix is different. Uh... Uh, what else is different in there? The time zone is different. You know, rupees instead of pesos. And nobody accepts U.S. dollars and stuff like that. Um, I have some friends to visit. And I want to make sure that when I get there that I get plenty of walnuts, pineapple, uh, stuff to cook. Well, I need ready-made stuff. And that's going to be hard to find. I'm going to have to go to the American store. Pretty much. I'm going to have to go to the American store. And um, get some stuff that's ready made. Microwave food and stuff like that. That I'm not trying to do too much. Because when I have surgery. I'm, I'm not down and out for the count. But I want to make it easy on myself. Just in case. Because I will be alone. For another surgery I'll be alone. Um, usually my sister comes with me on surgeries. But. For the past three surgeries, she did not come with me and I went alone. So I think I'm okay. I'm pretty much a veteran at this now. So yeah, all three of my, all three of them are big babies. I love dogs. I have three pit bulls. Oh God. I was just talking about pit bulls. I'm too scared. I'm too scared. Mm -mm. My sister, we had a pit bull when we were kids and I loved him. Oh, adored him. His name was Buck because he was Buck Wild. And uh, he bit my sister. He bit her on the leg and held on tight and just bit her. 
and my my sister is the baby and um the only girl and my mom was just so upset we never saw him again i think he was given away to a family member but yeah that's all it took was he bit my sister and he was gone and he bit her and did the the shake i was like i was sitting there looking like because he didn't bite me he just jumped up to bite her he didn't bite my brother just bit my sister and my mom was so upset she was real mad your body look amazing thank you danielle knew me it's about to look super amazing when i get done I get up off of the table this time i cannot wait mm. the doctor he he gave me his honest opinion and i understood and when i did my um photo shoot i saw some areas that needed some work and i'm like i see exactly what the doctor's talking about so once he corrects it baby it's up and it's up and it's stuck i can't wait to do to do some more photo shoots and stuff you guys i have some different outfits i want to wear it's the time to be sexy y'all i'm about i'm in my 30s about to be getting ready and closer to my 40s and then 50s my 40s and my 50s in my 60s i'm gonna be lit y'all i'm not gonna be no regular you know 50 60 year old or 70 i'm about to be out here living my life y'all because i know what that means we getting closer and closer you know you can't stay young forever. You can't um, stay alive forever. I mean, I hope that they bring out some sort of injection that like takes years back before I pass away. But you know, if they don't, you know, good luck to the next person that it comes for and that they get to live forever. And I'll just be a mark in history. I'll be somewhere. I, I was a YouTuber way back in the stone ages of YouTube. <laughs> Cause I'm sure that they'll have something new by then. <laughs> y'all what do y'all think about that about getting older um i used to really worry about it but now i feel like i don't know i feel the same you guys the only thing that has changed to me is the mind my mind has changed i've learned so much about life and learned how to really cope with my life in the past i used to struggle a lot with coping mechanisms and learning how to live my life in a healthier way and do things that were right that's one thing that i really really struggled with for a long time was doing what's right um for you i used to be a person of oh, i can spend that money or i don't care what the price of that is and i had to really learn that you know it does matter because when you think about it sure here and there it, it doesn't really hurt your pockets but when you're doing it over a long span of time you're spending thousands of dollars unnecessarily just because you made an oversight. You know, there was something cheaper. Um, I don't mind trying generic um, brand foods anymore because at the end of the day, when you add your taste and you add your flavors to it, it's all going to taste the same. You're not going to really know the difference and then you save your money. Save your money. But it's, it's sad that uh, it's sad and a miracle at the same time that surgery is what made me start looking at my pockets differently um i started trying to pinch here and there to try to save up money to have these surgeries because it is expensive like i said i've had surgery now six times and each time surgery costs four to five thousand dollars so you do the math it's very expensive i could have already had that camaro by now i want to buy a camaro cash money and um that was my dream uh, just i want to come home buy that lime green camaro that i've always wanted with the lime green rims i saw one over there on flat sh not flat shows but um over there on um what street was that that i saw that on on i think it's on west chapley road I think it's over over there in that area. But I saw one over there and it was just so fly. No, I think it was lime green on black rims, y'all. And I was like, ooh, that looks just, that's so me. Like, I love that. So I really want to have that, y'all. I really do. And my friend told me, he was like, what you gonna, where you gonna put the baby seats? And I was like, nowhere. I was like, it ain't gonna be no baby seats of that kind. It's just gonna be me and my two little dogs. I said that back then, y'all, and I didn't even have any dogs, but 
look at me now they they're gonna be there they're gonna make their way back to atlanta and also by the way i decided that i i and i don't know y'all could chime in with your opinions but i decided that i don't want i want to take um peach to get fixed i want to take I, well yeah i only need to take one of them right i want to take peach to go get fixed um i don't want her to go through a, a, a doggy pregnancy she's so little she's so small i don't want her to have to go through that and it's high risk so i want to just stop her from doing that okay let's see use both I, i'm so tired hey yo dog why are you drinking okay i see here we go again let me go ahead and put you in the timeout What do you look for in a chicken? Okay. All right. I'm going to put you in the timeout too. Had a huge dog. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 I read that. Your body looks amazing. I was worried about how we're going to get, get her to the Philippines. I'll buy her her own seat. She's an emotional support dog, but not service. You, we're trying to get it all figured out before we move there. Oh, you're moving to the Philippines. Oh, my God. Okay, now, okay. You're going to retire in the Philippines? I love my blue pet. Her name is Mary Jane, but her daddy calls her Booby. Oh, that's such a cute name, too. Now, see, don't get it twisted, y'all. Like, I've been around pit bulls. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. I've been around pit bulls. I had one, you know. I grew up with Buck, and he was my, I loved the dog. Didn't know any different to not love him. Um, he was something else, though. He was a different dog. I meet a nice, I met a nice couple in, in my country two months ago. They are from the Philippines. I took them around my country for about an hour or two and they gave me a hefty sum of money. They were so nice to me. Your country? What country are you from? I thought you were from the US. What country are you from? Love my body, but I do need to limit my soda intake. I don't drink soda anymore. It's a rare occasion now. Don't get it twisted. I love me a Coca-Cola. Um, what is it? Can't beat it. The rhythm, the one that you get from Coca-Cola Classic. It's the beat that's coming your way. Remember when Selena, y'all, Selena Quintanilla, she had that Coca-Cola commercial. I love me some Coca-Cola. So yeah, but um, I don't, I don't drink it that much because it just, it makes me too full. I'm a juice person all day. Who drank my apple juice? That's me all day, like apple juice. Let's see, guinea pig mom says, not all big dogs are bad. It's just the way that they were raised that affects their around being mean or nice to people or other dogs. Yeah. Um, I just feel like, uh, you know, and it's just a protection uh, defense mechanism that I just assume that at any point, any dog can attack. And with a small dog, I'm like, I can deal with that. If they attack, you know, that they'll, it'll be all right. But even a small dog can hurt you, you know. They can hurt you. They can they can get on there and bite. They can get you. I'm about to get my butt in the gym. I'm 40 next year, and although my body has always been banging, yep, I said it, but I want to keep it CC, period. Period, CC. Okay, so you're not retiring. You're moving early. I think aging is beautiful, and it's a blessing to be able to experience it. So many of us don't. Charles Anderson says, do it instead. Do what instead? um trinity says when i turned 50 in december i was like where did all this time go but i can't complain i've been very blessed in life that's ain't that right like I, that's what, how i feel like i don't sit there and think about what i don't have and what i'm not experiencing i go ahead and i think about all of my life i think about um where i am today how i got here i remember back in my 20s how i just was misguided i didn't know i didn't know how to react to things everything i used to call my mom a lot to um deal with my day-to-day -day issues and i don't do that stuff anymore i've grown up um and i think that i think it's a blessing for all those young folks um because i deal with that a lot um i have a lot of young guys you know they come to me and they talk to me about their problems and stuff and i'm just like i remember i used to be you you know i'm so glad that i'm not and just like how um 
Oh yeah, when um inmate one seven eight three one six three said that I um I had I I paid or I dated that man, my beautiful skin, and that I brought a man for entertainment, sexual entertainment, whatever, romantic entertainment, that guy with the pizza face. Now he did nothing wrong to me, you guys. You know, I, I'm just calling the thing a thing, you know. I'm not trying to disrespect him, but he did have a pizza face, you know, he had a lot of bumps and, and lesions, whatever on his face. Um, he was n in no way a date. I have not reached back out to him. Why didn't you reach out to him, Zay? Because I told him straight to his face. So it wasn't behind his back or none of that. It was straight to his face. I told him that when he left his ID and could not get into the club, I said, this is why I don't hang around with people as young as you, because you guys are still immature. Like, why do you you walking around with a man purse and you don't got your wallet? You don't got your ID? Who does that? I'm like, that's some little girl shit. Period. And it's facts. Like that's some little girl stuff. I don't hang around with little girls. We uh, this is very much grown over here. We don't uh, ain't no oh oh I don't got my ID. No, that's not mm mm. I'm too grown for that. So I was like, when he didn't reach out to me either. But my thing was like, even if you did, um, I did reach out to him. I take that back. I, I let him know that night. Glad you made it home safe. Um, thank you so much for helping me to film my content. He was responsible for one video and it was a short video where I tried some stuff on the market. That food was not good to me. Did not like it. Stomach was upset. Um, but I made some content because I've been trying to reach a Filipino audience do I care if I get one? Yes, I do care a little bit, but I'm most okay with the audience that I have. But I'm always going to do anything that I can to try to branch out and um, show more about where I am and meet new people, um, make new subscribers here on YouTube. So that's what I had to do. It had nothing to do with sex. But when you think like inmate 1783163, you know, you're always going to think about sexual activity because she had been sexually active at a young age, you know. She doesn't know any better, but other than what her mammy taught her. And her and the other ones, the other ones, they do the same thing. It's all sex, 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 sex. And they were, you know, they had a, um, sexual experiences even at a, even earlier age than um, inmate 1783163. So, yeah, that's, you have to, see, that's the thing. In my 20s, I wouldn't have been able to be that understanding to people like that, but now I understand. I understand that these people have bigger issues than myself. You know, I'm not their issue. Their issues started at childhood. Because um, I don't feel like any child should be, you know, sexualized at a young age. That's traumatizing, you know. And like I said many of times before, because I've come out here and I've told my own story, um, it's a big difference when you, when you, are sexualized by a fully grown adult being a child that's traumatizing a lot a lot of people don't get the help that they need don't get the mental help that they need and that's why you see them acting out you see them being vicious you see them attacking people you see them crying a lot you see them years and years and years later still crying about what happened to them because they just didn't ever get you know the mental help you don't ever see me Ugh. what happened to me you know i forgave that person was a child i was a child and it happened you know um but for people to try to sit there and fill in the blanks and make up stuff you he put that nine inch penis inside you i'm like what type of person really would say something like that other than somebody who had that exact thing happen to them and then they put the story on you that's why i'm unaffected when people say stuff like that because they said some disgusting stuff in hopes to get some tears out of me. But you can't hurt somebody with a lie. The truth hurts. The truth hurts way, way worse. And no matter how many times people sit there and call me broke, say I'm doing this and doing that for money and all that, like my life is wonderful, okay? And I'm, and I'm showing it. And fortunately I have some people over here that come over and they support me and they, they are happy to see me traveling and being happy and doing what I'm doing. That's amazing in itself. Um, I have some people out here that are still jealous, y'all. 
that I have people in my chat talking to me, people in my, over here following me. They don't like that. Jealous about that. And I'm like, you could do the same thing. Go make some interesting content. Come out and actually talk to the people, engage with the people. And you can do the same thing. You will never do it like me because we're not the same person. We have different personalities and different ways of execution. However, somebody will watch you, whether it's two, three people, ten, you know, somebody will be out there to watch you. But yeah, you guys, I'm going to book this stuff. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to actually, maybe I'll make a poll on, I'll look into some more activities and, and I'll put a, <clears throat> on my community post what they are and everyone can help me decide which one to do what you guys would like to see let me look at the okay i'm about to i read that okay um i get my female dogs fixed but not the male dogs don't want to deal with the heat cycles yeah green is my favorite color any shade okay um did you say what country you're in lime green we on um, black we will see you. Yes, yes, yes. Did you say what country you're in? Say, oh yeah, yeah. You didn't ever say what country you're in. What country are you in? Because you said you showed them your country. What country is that? Bentley Laney says, hey, <clears throat> Juliana Presley, I hate small dogs, though I feel like a lot of dog breeds are used for bad things, and it's a stereotype. A lot of dog breeds, I, I guess you mean large breed dogs are used for the wrong things and it, they get stereotyped. Off topic comment, a few days ago I told someone, I told someone told me I don't look gay. So what do gay people, um, gay people look like I said? Hmm. Yeah, that's an interesting thing right there. Uh, and then, uh, well, you know what? Those are what, that, that's a comment that people would not recognize to be ignorant but it definitely is because you know what does a straight person look like what does a trans person look like what is you know and people would have answers you know what that's a good a good interesting topic to discuss on youtube um so i might make a video discussing that what do what does a straight person look like what does a gay person look like what are the typical things about these people um yeah, but that's a really ignorant statement to make because just like how somebody came up to me in India and they said all African people have the same face. And I'm like, if I were an ignorant person, I would sit here and say all Indian people have the same same face, but I'm not ignorant. OK, so and then it's funny because people like him. And um, this person, I'm just using as an example, he had this superior complex as if he were more intelligent than everyone else. But that comment right there alone goes to show that you're, you, you're not an intellectual at all. You, yes, you work behind a desk in an office, but you literally are just so dumb and ignorant. And then he told me that he grew up on a farm and I'm like, I can tell, you know. You need to branch out further than the farm and start to realize that, you know, there's a world around you that goes beyond pigs, goats, and cows. You know, get out and venture the world and experience the world. And you would know, like myself, that not every race has the same face. That's just like to say that Asian people, a Asian, a Japanese person and a Korean person do not look the same. Chinese does not look like a Filipino person, you know. That's just like a Croatian person doesn't look like a Bosnian person, right? You know, United Kingdom people, I, I like, now there's a little bit of a slight variation with um, the UK, the US, and Australia, stuff like that. A little similarities because there are ties there. However, for you to say that um, African Americans and African natives, we look the same, that's just not even accurate at all. It's not true. We don't even have the same culture. We don't eat the same foods. We don't make foo-foo, you know, stuff like that. We don't make foo-foo and we don't make, you know, jollof rice and all of that. That's not really our forte. We about some um, cornbread. We about uh, dressing, uh, 
you know, turkey legs, neck bones, like that's, it's totally different. And of course, somebody like him would not know that. They just don't know. So you can't be mad at them. It's just ignorance. But thank you for sharing that. I Will I, will I say all white people have the same pickup truck? That's not a joke. It's not not true. Right. That's all have the same pickup truck. That's funny. Here's one more for you. Sometimes my gay friends tell me I don't act gay enough. What does that mean? It means the same thing that I was told when I was on the set of a, um, something that I was filming. And they told me, like, can you give more, like, girl? And I'm like, I've never been told in my life. Because this is the first gay role I've ever had, you know. And I'm being told I'm not giving it. I wasn't giving my sister girl, sister girl. I wasn't giving enough. And I was just like, I don't know what else to give you because this is, you know. But when I when she said it to me, I was like, okay, I get you. You want me to be like over the top. Like, you, instead of saying like sass and whatever, you should have just told me that you wanted me to act like ghetto. Okay. And then I would have done that. I would have, I'll give you, girl, da -da 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 -da. I'm like, you know, that type of thing. The hairstylist, the flipping hair and girl, girl, da -da 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 -da. like, yeah, all of that stuff. And I guess that's what she wanted. But, you know, the director is always correct, not the actor. So, yeah. But you guys, thank you so much for coming out here to kick it with me, chill with me. I appreciate you guys for helping me and look, looking at the stuff with me. I'm going to book it today. Um, definitely book my ride and, and stuff. And I, all of this stuff is affordable. That's why I need to look and research it a little bit more and see exactly what, what's going to be included, which one is the best. Look at the reviews. Read the reviews. I read a few of them. Um, like the first one I read, and the first one I read was like really good reviews. But I don't want to just go with the first one. I'm, le I'm learning as I'm traveling. I'm learning that, you know, read a couple more of them. And um, Ooh, you got blocked. And now I'm hungry. Thanks, Zay. Oh, <laughs> hey, listen. At least you can get your hands on that. I can't get no dressing. I can't get no neck bones here. I can't get that here. I would have to make it myself. And you see my little tiny little oven that I have. It's not going to make all of that. So no soul food for me. If I could have something from... If I were in Atlanta right now, I would order some Le Nouveau Marquis, which is the Liberian restaurant that I love to go to. And then I would probably go to Walter's. Walter's is my favorite soul food restaurant in Atlanta. Um, it's busting. It's good. It it's close to where I live. Um, and then my Chinese restaurant, um, China One, over there on Flat Shows Road. Um, love them, too. That's, like, my favorite. And then I take the Piri Piri sauce and I put it on top of the shrimp fried rice. I just get shrimp fried rice. That's it by itself. Nothing else. And sometimes I get fancy and add an egg, but... I don't really like the smell of eggs and the taste of eggs all the time. So, like, I switch it up. But, yep, I'm hungry, too. I'm hung I actually want to give me something to eat. Hey, Auntie Carol. Hey, Auntie Carol. Will and Grace show was uh, was my coming out show. What was my coming out show? I would have to say probably Degrassi. <laughs> probably Degrassi. Take it back. Take it back to Degrassi days. Mm-hmm. I was, you know, that's back when I used to really love Drake back in them days. Like, Drake was just so fine back when he was Aubrey. What, what, yeah, what was, what was his name on there? No, that's his real name. Well, I don't remember his name on the grassy, y'all. I'm getting old, y'all. Like, but that was my show back in the days. But, yeah. Memories, y'all. It's crazy. But uh, as far as the people that are, are spewing all this jealousy out on me, keep talking, baby. Like, that's all you can do is sit back and listen to me, what I'm doing and how I'm living my life. And like, at the end of the day, the more people talk about me, the more people know my channel, the people know where I am. Anything I have to say, like I said before, a million times, I don't have to get on no fake pages and stuff to say what I have to say. I get paid to come on here and, and discuss things and talk. It's not free. So why would I go on? for free 
to make pages to say what I have to say. And I'm not scared of nobody on here. I've read down anybody I have problems with. I've read them down, okay? And they ain't around no more, okay? So why would I be scared of the next bitch? Just ain't. Okay, so anyway, and then the people that are trying to report and report and report, baby, that YouTube check is looking so good. I'm so blessed, so thankful. And, and all the people that poured into my birthday, thank you guys so much. Like, you guys have supported me and helped me so much. And I, that's why I make sure to do better content and to come with better things to show my appreciation for the support that I'm getting from y'all. I would never sit here and be, stop watching me. I would never sit here and be like, I don't need YouTube. I would never do any of that stuff. Um, YouTube is not my um, main source of income, but I, I love doing YouTube videos because I just love being on camera. You guys know that I it's my vessel for being able to, um, I'm not acting right now. I'm not working on any filming at the moment. And this is the next closest thing is building my um, online presence on social media with my YouTube channel, um, TikTok, Instagram, etc., Facebook, all of that. Follow me on all of those. The links are below. Um, so me, this is my outlet for that stuff. And I appreciate, you know, every time that people come out and they show me love because it makes it easier for me to come back and keep doing it again. I have been remaining consistent with my YouTube channel. And that's another thing for the people out there that want to have a YouTube channel. That never stop making YouTube videos. I have some guy out there and I really need to hurry up and get this wrapped up before it hits the two hour mark. Um, there's a guy out there, he makes videos and he gets like, 100 something views 70 views sometimes i think your content is awesome and um continue to make it and the more you make it the better it'll get because there was once upon a time where i wasn't getting the views that i'm getting now and it improved and even still now with the amount of subscribers that i have sometimes some videos are lower than the others and it is what it is people have different schedules and um read the youtube um analytics because it'll tell you what you can do to improve your channel. And um, also the little things do count. Thumbnails, um, the design of your page and stuff like that. I'll make a separate video where we're just going to have a conversation about this. And we'll have an open Q&A and we'll just talk about it. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. But I appreciate everybody for tuning in to this video. Making this video a success. Um, thank you for coming. And if you're watching this on the replay, please go ahead and hit the like button. And share the live. Subscribe. I appreciate everyone. Oh, yeah. By the way, let me say this because I didn't check it. Normally, I check. Thank you so much for the people that subscribed to my um, channel during this video. We are now at 6,916 subscribers. I really would like to make it to 7,000 subscribers before the end of this month. So let's see that happen. Thank you for everyone that has participated in the chat. Thank you for the moderators that have regulated through here thank you for the members that came through and showed your beautiful faces and had a good conversation with me on here i appreciate you guys for doing that um let me see B before i go yes for the pink hearts you really trying to have my mouth watering mm, it's so good oh and cc um when i order from Le nouveau marquise i always get the cassava leaf over rice with the cow foot um beef uh dry fish and chicken all mixed together it's so good uh, so good i also like candies um old lady gang she got some good greens and macaroni and cheese like candy candy gotta say it with the um atlanta accent the candy she be like her food is good i like her food it's good i don't um please hit the like button as you exit yes please 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 usef says off um, I'd like to see that video. Love to see that video. Um, I don't remember what video I was talking about. Auntie says, nephew, um, the pink, the pink hearts. Yes. So thank you all for subscribing. Whoever subscribed during this video. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on the next live video. I'll leave a link below for um, my TikTok, my Instagram, my Facebook, all of that stuff. And I'll also leave a link below to my last video. Please go back and watch that video on the replay. 
and um, hit the like button on that one too. And if you're watching this video on the replay, leave me a comment below to let me know that you watched this video on the replay. And I will see you guys on the next video. I love y'all. Thank y'all for coming in and pitting and patting with me. And I'll see you guys on the next video. We will be having a good discussion about how to make your YouTube channel more successful the Zay way. Um, because I'm not, you know, the most experienced, but I will tell you how I was able to get to 7K subscribers. We started at three and now we're at almost 7K. So I will let you guys know what I did to accelerate my um, YouTube channel and, and how we did that. As far as the haters, you can keep on trying to stop me, but I, I'm still here. You know, they said that I was supposed to be gone and I was not supposed to be coming back. And not only did I come back, but I've been having the most successful months the last few months since I've been back from that strike. So I'm here. And the people that are still trying to get me in trouble, trying to do this, trying to do that, you're just, you know, futile efforts. So again, you guys, everyone be safe. Everyone enjoy the rest of your night. And, um... Have a good night rest, and I'll see you guys tomorrow evening, your time, morning, my time. So love y'all. Bye, y'all.